Introduction to the Revelation of St. John the Divine The Revelation of Jesus Christ This last book of the Bible completes what God has chosen to reveal of the greatest story ever told. His plan to restore a planet in rebellion began in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Then, generation by generation, through the story of the Scriptures, God pursued a relationship with Earth's rebels at great personal cost. He demonstrated His love for us by giving us His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, in our place to offer amnesty and freedom to everyone who repents and believes in Him, accepting His terms of forgiveness. The book of Revelation, this last of the inspired writings of the Bible, points to the consummation of the redemption story, foretelling the return of the resurrected Son, the rightful King, to the earth. Jesus suddenly returns as King to bring judgment on all who stubbornly and willfully refuse His gracious offer of forgiveness. He then gathers His loyal subjects into His kingdom, and Eden is restored forever. All of these concluding events, the people, the images, and the prophecies, were revealed in a vision and written down. The vision occurred off the coast of present-day Turkey, on an island called Patmos. Most believe that John the Apostle received the vision of Revelation. John, who had been with Jesus from the beginning, also wrote the Gospel of John and the three letters known as 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Notice how Jesus Christ is the center of the entire book of Revelation. Jesus is seen, as never before in the Bible, as the King of Heaven. The book begins by describing John's vision from God as the revelation of Jesus Christ. Then John records specific messages from the risen Jesus to seven churches in Asia Minor. Suddenly, the scene shifts to dramatic and majestic images, including the slain Lamb Jesus Christ, who alone is worthy to be worshipped. Then a series of visions portray the future rise of evil and the Antichrist. Next. John describes the victory of Jesus, the King of Kings, the wedding celebration with Jesus and His bride, the final judgment on evil, and then the coming of a new heaven and a new earth. Revelation concludes with the promise of Christ's soon return. Then John prays, Come, Lord Jesus. As you listen, follow the panorama of God's plan. Pay attention as Christ warns the churches about what blocks us from a relationship with Him. Be full of hope, knowing that God is in control. Christ's ultimate victory is assured, and all who trust in Him will be saved.